there, fellow people. Hello. Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest trends and creative ideas for all things home design. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into. I guess I'm diving into a very, very, very tiny bathtub because today is all about small bathroom design ideas for 2023. This is something that I'm very familiar with because this bathroom right here is tiny, but it actually has like a full on toilet, shower, vanity. We really optimize that space. And if you remember my condo loft from back in the day, we renovated that. Like as soon as we came in. So I wanna share my thoughts and experiences on this whole bathroom process. If you're looking to remodel or decorate your bathroom, but space is kind of limited, then this video is perfect for you. Let's get started. So the first thing that I think of when I'm working with a small bathroom is it's important to maximize every inch of space, beginning with clever storage solutions. Maybe you don't have a lot of floor space, but you can utilize vertical space. So looking up, you can install floating shelves wherever you can. Or one of my favorite things is try and get tall cabinets that go really well with your vanity. Ones that can go all the way up to the ceiling, ideally. That's what we had in our condo. We haven't installed it in here yet, but that's something that we're kind of looking into. It's sort of like when you build in a really busy city, you're not gonna have the luxury of having a really sprawling bungalow. You might need to get a condo building that just goes straight up because land is a bit of a commodity, right? And so is the floor space in your smaller than normal bathroom. So think about going up and on the walls rather than big pieces that just take up the whole room. You can also look into reset Cessed storage, which means instead of going up or out, you can go in. And one of the most common places I see this is in the shower area itself, or even above the toilet. That tends to be an underutilized area that a lot of people forget about. It'll give you some discreet storage that's nice and tucked away, where you can keep all your toiletries and essentials, which keeps your bathroom very clutter free. And also if you're like me and you have a big old mirror in front of your vanity, you can still have a medicine cabinet. Maybe put it off to the side. You don't actually have to have it in front of you. Best of both worlds is combining your mirror with your medicine cabinet. So your mirror becomes storage. Very, very useful. Moving on to lighting. Lighting is very, very underrated in a bathroom, especially. Embrace natural light whenever you can. So if you are fortunate enough to have windows within your bathroom, I do not down here, which is a bit of a sad situation, but that's okay. If you do have windows, try and get sheer curtains or maybe frosted glass windows as well. So you're not wasting that precious light coming in. But you also don't want to give your neighbors a free show. So make sure that those windows can be covered up while still letting light in. You can also get very creative with your lighting fixtures. So if you're like me and you don't have the luxury of beautiful windows, you can install light fixtures on either side of the mirror to eliminate any weird shadows casting to one side of your face. It'll just give you very even lighting. So if you're like me and you gotta keep yourself nice and groomed, then having two identical lights really is a benefit. You can also consider pendant lights. I'm a big fan of pot lights in bathrooms. I'm not happy enough with just the overall overhead lighting above the mirror. Pot lights are just really great. They can also be very flush to your ceiling. So they're just gonna be tucked away. You can also have one in your shower stall as well as the other area in your bathroom. This gives you a lot to work with. And we did talk about mirrors, but I wanna do a deeper dive because using a large statement mirror can really do a lot. Not only will it serve as an accent piece that will give you a bit of a wow factor, but of course we all know, mirrors give the illusion of larger space. Your bathroom's gonna feel way bigger with a big, large mirror. So not only is it a a practical choice into making you think that the space is larger than it is, but it's also another opportunity for you to express your design elements because you can pick something really fun and bold. Now we gotta talk about color because that's a big deal for me. Generally speaking, I actually find lighter colors and neutral tones work really well in small spaces. You know, your whites, your pastels, it keeps things airy and bright. Because light colors reflect more light, that will help make the space feel a little more open. That being said, really dark colors can also do things in a different way by going with something really rich and deep and saturated on your walls, it won't reflect any light. It actually makes the walls look like they're receding, like they're further away than they actually are. So it really depends on your preference. I would say go one or the other. Don't really look at mid-tones. Try to find something that's either bright and airy or really deep and cave-like because both have their benefits. Next tip is have fun tiles. Have fun with your accent tiles. Add a pop of color or a pattern in the shower areas or maybe even as a little backsplash. This is gonna create visual interest 
interest and is going to cause whoever is looking at the space to really focus in on these really cool tiles, which could have everything else feel a bit bigger and at least more personalized. What I always recommend is have more neutral understated tiles in some of the other areas. Let's say you're working with two or three different tiles in this bathroom. Make sure only one of them is accent and then the others are chill, are neutral, are soft. You don't want all these different tiles to compete with one another. Lastly, let's explore space saving features. Now, normally in something like a living room, you actually want to go with bigger furniture to really fill up the space to give the illusion that the space is big enough to support them. It's kind of the opposite I find with bathrooms. So I would look at smaller size toilets, maybe a neat little pedestal sink or even a wall mounted vanity to maximize the floor space. Because you have so little to work with, you want to maximize as much as you can. You can also go with a corner shower rather than wall to wall. I went wall to wall because I'm bougie, but go as small as you can comfortably with your fixtures. You still want to be able to use this stuff and not feel like you're in a dollhouse bathroom. Just remember, even with limited space, you can still create a fully functional and beautiful bathroom. Let your creativity shine and don't be afraid to try something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join our growing community. You can also further support us even more by becoming a channel member. Also, let us know in the comments which idea you like the most or if you have any other small bathroom design tips to share. As always, thanks for watching and see you in this video right now.